Morning campers. This is my caddy. It's a caddy maxi life. It's a 2015 car. I've had it for just over a year now. And uh, I just wanted to showcase how I turn it into a camper and uh, a couple of tips that I think along the way, that I've thought of along the way. Uh, a couple of things I'd like to say about the camper units that I fitted into it. I'm no carpenter. I just made this thing myself from seeing people's um, photos and videos online and stuff. I just said I'd have a crack off making my own one. The other thing I'd like to say is this is a functional car. So this isn't a van. This one is my day to day, go to work, ferry three kids around. My wife has her own car, but I use this. I'm just gonna show it a little bit there now. Nothing too exciting about it, just a normal family car. So that's kind of like the first position is what I'm calling it. That's the first, that's the first position that it looks like. And then I start converting it into a camper. So uh, we'll have a look at the boot there now when it's empty. And then we'll start looking at the units and uh, I'll talk through the whole lot of it. That is a massive, uh, that's a massive area to work with. Now, just to show, this is a wheelchair accessible car. So that's the wheelchair ramp that folds out. Um, I was on the lookout for a Caddy Maxi Life for quite a while. And uh, <coughs> I, I was looking out for a seven seater one to convert, uh, but I could only get a wheelchair accessible one. So I built this platform and just carpeted it. I've left this gap here where there is no platform, but I could build one if I feel like it. At a later stage, it doesn't affect what I do. Um, so that's just to show the massive space that we have. All right, now I'm gonna put in all the accoutrement. So this is, this is what it all looks like when I'm driving. Uh, I have a ratchet strap in here, which I can put around the whole thing, which secures it so it doesn't rattle. It doesn't rattle much anyway, because it's really heavy, uh, three quarter inch ply. So this is, um, I have a bit of storage underneath here. This is the table, which I'll show in a short while. I have a little folding table here, which I pull out for um, just sitting out and having a drink in the evening, a cup of tea in the morning, whatever your, whatever your story is. Uh, do I want to show that now? I will show it now. <laughs> I'm making this up all on the fly. So look, bear with me. I've got my storage box here, which I showed a few minutes ago, but now it has stuff in it. So I've got, um, that's a folding chair. I've got an inflating mattress. I've got a wash kit for my pots and pans. I've got a folding bowl there. Over here, I've got a sleeping bag. I've got a picnic blanket. Underneath here, I've got a tarp and a windbreaker. I've got this cool, this really, really cool set of Decathlon pots. This is an awesome piece of kit that I'm gonna do a video for. So that's it. That all goes in there. Uh, storage, that's the, as I showed a while ago, it, when it was empty. This is my cooker. She pulls out. Got some gas bottles here. A little bit of storage underneath here for cutlery. Uh, I'll show more of that later. Here it is in table mode. When I have it in table mode for dining, etc., I have a seat taken out, so my, my seat split into a double seat, so I have the two kids. And uh, I take this one out and I leave this one at home. And one of the reasons I do that is it, it saves up a bit of space here for storage. But what I really like is that when I come in here, I can comfortably sit at this table. Uh, I do need a little bit of leg room. I'm six foot tall. You can see I'm, I'm sitting up straight here. I have to really kind of sit up straight to touch the ceiling. My normal kind of, maybe going to call it slouchy position would be like this. So look, this is it. It's really, really comfortable. My table is on two legs. Uh, it's quite sturdy. And these are the boxes that I was showing earlier. Here's the food bin. Uh, I use this for the food storage. And there's plenty of room for... I'm just going to pop a picture up on the... I'm going to pop a picture up on the screen there where you can see my missus and the two kids sitting in the back of this while they're eating. And you can see that they're, that they're not kicking legs off each other. There's plenty of room in there. I can even push these back a wee bit and these back a little wee bit 
and uh, they'll have a, a, a few inches more leg room. So for me, this is really working out well, that this tabletop, um, I don't know what I'm saying there. It just works out as a table for us, I guess. Um, that you have the functionality of it as a table and then you also have the functionality of it as your bed, which is the thing we're going to get to next. I'm just going to have a quick whip back around the back here and just show the uh, stove and the storage and all that. So I showed the food bin there. So food bin is here, just to show that once more. I, this comes completely off. I just designed it that way. It's not on a hinge. So that comes completely off. You see these lips here? I just want to highlight those, these lips here. They'll become, um, it'll become a, it's probably already evident what they are. They're for the table to become the bed and for these bits as well, for the remainder of the bed. Just pointing those out as I'm here, lads. So back at the back here, we have the cooker. You know what now? That is the first time. That is the first time that that did that. Oh, it would have to happen when I'm recording it. So look, this is grand. That pulls out there. Now, where, where, um, where I'm highlighting my lack of carpenter skills. So I've a gas bottle, connects in there. Not a bottle. Under here, I've got a bit of storage for cutlery. I've got uh, a windshield in there, which goes around the cooker there. Uh, for if it's a windy day. Uh, that is the first time that got stuck. I'm so peed off with that. <laughs> so I'm going to tidy that away. One thing I would change. Now again, as I say, I'm no carpenter. Look, see how, see how easily, see how easily that thing comes in and out. And then the first time I was showing it, it got stuck. I have this on ball bearing rollers as opposed to the way you'd normally have them. Um, the way you'd normally have a drawer would be with sliders on each side and it would come out smoothly and come out much further but as i said i don't know what i, I didn't know what, what i was doing so you can see this doesn't close up flush so we're getting set up here now for bedtime you can see the table has now become part of the bed it is all very solid and secure all very solid and secure if we come around the side you see that additional piece that i had and it is very solid this three quarter inch ply while it is heavier it also feels a lot sturdier. So this piece here, you can see, it's on a hinge and it uh, takes advantage of having a cutout piece there and they go all the way flush with the floor. Now in here, I can show that negative space is really, really large. It's really, really large. And what I put here normally is a cooler box. So throughout our camping trip, there'll be a cooler box here, one of the ones that plugs into the uh, 12 volt of the car so um, no I, I don't use a leisure battery I don't uh, use a fridge or anything because you can throw a few ice packs or just buy ice every few days a cooler box will last you three four five days um, and it plugs in so w once you're driving from place to place you can plug it in give it that extra boost and I've never had a problem with it you've got extra storage space here and the other footwell there uh, I have a little bit of negative space here that I've never considered um yeah something to think about for the next time right yo so i had an audio issue i forgot to put back on my microphone and uh i'm having to put this bit of audio in afterwards so what i'm doing here is i'm just climbing in and lying down on the bed uh, i usually use uh, self-inflating mattresses sleeping bags and pillows and what i'm showing here is how dark it gets with the blackout blinds it's really cool because in the morning time when you've light coming in it's a killer but with the blackout blinds it's great uh, another thing I use is a drive away awning, so you can see it there attached to the caddy. <clears throat> that one's called a Scandica Camper Tramp, but there's tons of them on the market. They're a really cool addition. They give you a bit more versatility, loads more space. Here's my eldest guy DJ <clears throat> in the back of the disco bus on one of our trips. <laughs> doing his thing, relaxing and chilling and doing a bit of a dance. And finally, I have a couple of images here just of the back of it in the morning time having breakfast. Cup of tea on the go. That's up at Loch Derg. In, uh, <clears throat> we were at um, Terry Glass. Terry Glass, is it in Tipperary? I can't remember. 
So the last thing then is me sitting up on the bed as it's set up as a bed and you can see that my head's just brushing off the ceiling so it's slightly uncomfortable for me with the legs crossed or legs straight and sitting like that. It's not great. So if you're slightly less than six foot tall, you have plenty of head space. And that is the end of my caddy video. It's Dinny Outdoors on Facebook and Instagram or it's dinnyallday at gmail.com if you want to send me an email. Uh, ask a question, leave a comment, whatever you want. I'll get back to you. There's no bother there. And peace out, everybody. Bye-bye.